My motivation for seeking public office was that I had been in engineering for 20 years in, in Fort Myers, and the community had been very, very good to me. And I thought my company had grown to be a good opportunity to help the people of Southwest Florida, and it's proven to be true. It's, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun, and I've been able to do a lot of interesting things for Southwest Florida and the state. Well, I got started in the public, public arena actually by, by accident. I had a gubernatorial appointment back in eight, 1989, I'm sorry, back in 1999, where um, the governor appointed me to the South Florida Water Management District, and that is the board that's responsible for the Everglades restoration. So leaving that board after five years, it was a great transition to public, take that public policy or water law and to, to the state capitol. And uh, there are not many engineers up here. I think I'm one of two, and um, it's really helpful. Um, there are quite a few challenges running for, for office. Um, I think, first and foremost, it's very difficult for me to ask for money from my friends, or even more difficult from people that I don't know. And also, it's a time commitment. You have to, you know, you really have to make up your mind that this is something that you want to do. You have to have a good, I call it your kitchen cabinet, a group of people that, of uh, community leaders that are there to support you and, and urge you on. And then when you make the commitment, you have to stick with it. And uh, in my case, I was very blessed that I jumped in the race in May and was elected in August. That's not the case for a lot of people. And uh, it, it has been uh, very rewarding. Well, I think being a woman and being an engineer are two um, interesting facets of being here in the legislature. Um, the women in the legislature are unfortunately diminishing, and when you find, when other legislators find out that you're an engineer, you're actually asked a lot of technical questions, which I truly welcome, especially when you deal with such things as sinkholes. Um, you don't want an attorney having to answer the question. And that did come up in the committee week, and um, the attorneys were um, sidetracking, and it was one, an opportunity where I could actually reel it in and let people know what a sinkhole truly was from an engineering perspective, and it kind of put that issue to rest. So. One of the uh, issues that I was able to help with were the sinkhole issues and um, trying to describe to the attorneys what they were and what they were not. Um, attorneys seem to focus on the fact that a sinkhole, anytime you have a crack in your driveway or in your wall, that definitely means a sinkhole. And here in the middle of the state of Florida, that's a huge issue. Um, also, being an engineer helps with a lot of the budget issues as it pertains to water policy, water in the environment. Transportation is huge, or lack thereof. I mean, we know what real numbers are, and uh, most people don't have a grasp of what it costs to build a road, or what it costs to build a lift station, or what it's going to cost to retool the Everglades. And engineers bring that dimension, and I think it's really important to have more of them. There's a little bill that I did that my very first year up here that I thought was a little insignificant, and it was doing away with the sales tax on any solar energy apparatuses because after all I live in the Sunshine State and um, I didn't think much of it but that has had such a huge impact on people you know buying solar hot water heaters um, for their pool or their homes or you know battery services it just it's just been a, it's, and I get emails all the time thanking me for doing that so that's a little little thing um, in the grand scope of scheme of things but it does help people. I think what when one undertakes the Florida, it, it, the legislature as a whole, you really need to take a step back and ask yourself, is your family ready for this? Because unless you live close by, it's a huge time commitment. 
Um, and if your family is ready to let you go, then the next thing is, what about my company? Will my company allow me to go? I happen to own the engineering company that I have, and I had, I had a staff that I felt truly capable of taking the reins. Of course, I still, you know, can go online and, and check things and bank balances and contracts and that type of thing. So the internet certainly helps if you want to run for the legislature, but certainly have your family's support because you know you're going to be away and make sure you've got a good network at your office that will afford you the time to be away. I think engineers could play a huge role um, by helping their local legislatures, especially those that aren't engineers, talking to them about issues such as roadways, um, road-based material, why we need to look at different methodologies, why you know bridges need to be constructed certain ways, um, describing sinkholes, um, descri you know, defining pump stations or desalinization plants, reclaimed water, all those things are so important. And I would bet that most of the legislatures up here don't know the difference, for instance, between um, deep oil injection and then you know ASR. And I think you know take your local legislator out to dinner or to lunch and, ex and ask them how you can be a tool for them. I myself, being an engineer, have a, have a set of business cards for education, for attorneys, for property owners, for environmentalists. So if I need an answer to a question, I have a pool to, to talk to. And I think that um, any engineer who's interested in politics certainly should take advantage of their local legislation because they will be calling on you because they don't know all the answers. I think that and that engineers or anybody for that matter, if the com community has been very, very, been good to you and you're in a position in your life where you feel that you'd be of a value, join the legislature. It's truly very, very rewarding and you can make a difference.